Right. Thank you guys very much. Right. Faction Talk 103, Cavino and Rich. Time for so. a major announcement. Hit the gongs. Uh, hit like the drum said. rolls. Spot. And we want immediate feedback. Questions will be answered. So if you have anything to say, you know, 866 1969. Some may think this is the worst kept secret in the past few years in the world of Cavino and Rich. All right, hit me up with the Ric Flair theme. It's not the Ric Flair theme. What is it then? It's Space Odyssey. No one knows that. And we're going to debate that next. All right, as we play the Ric Flair theme. Woo! <sighs> it's taken a few years to even get this going, guys. A few years. So we're really excited. Thanks to your support. Cavino and Rich. I think when the conversations first started, you didn't use just for men. <laughs> yeah. I think I went gray just like trying to make this happen. Yeah. First and first mostly, we'll continue to be on Faction Talk 103 every morning here on Sirius XM. But starting next month. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> In fact, on January 28th, Monday, January 28th, day one. Mark the calendar. So now you, that, but you know the problem here is that now you're going to have a dot on your calendar every day. I know. And you hate dots on your calendar. But these are good dots. We're going to be doing a daily late night TV show on ESPN2 every night. And it's going to be called Now or Never. And every Monday through Friday, we're, we're on every night. Is it, <sighs> what, there you go. That give me nervous farts. Where are the gunshots, Spot? Gun Do shots. the gunshots. It's a fiesta! Ah! More like, <laughs> thank you. And you're nervous farts. Arriba! Arriba! <laughs> Okay, so we got that out. Every weeknight on ESPN2, Now or Never, with Cavino and Rich. It's going to be a pop culture and lifestyle sports show based on all the dumb things you hear and see yeah. throughout the day we're going to bring to life right before you go to bed. So yeah. we're really excited about it. It's been a long time coming. Oof. Most of you guys kind of had an idea of what was going on because we've been part of the ESPN family now for the past six months or so doing ESPN radio and we've been auditioning. It's been a whole process, yeah, man. Let me, let we, me tell we, you. We, we are so excited to finally tell you about just the process. As you said, it's the it's like the worst kept secret our show has had, but we have been... Yeah, but I mean, think of that lifestyle, Rich. How many people out here, especially in California, are like, Dude, I got a show starting. Guess what? It yeah. never starts. Yeah, I got a uh, got a just a pilot in the works and a show, and uh, yeah, we got some uh, some stuff going on. Everyone's right. got you know. It, let me tell you, this so has been. So you could say that people thought this, but that doesn't mean there's any guarantees. And without your support, there's still no guarantees. But I can guarantee you this: they will come January 28th, we will be on. And Camino will have the nervous farts. Yeah. <laughs> that is I, a guarantee. But I can guarantee that. So. Let me first off, before we get into the details and the story and the process and your phone calls and feedback, let me first say thank you guys for your support because without your support, without all these years of, of fun and longevity and, and radio, we wouldn't have gotten to this point. I want to thank Sean Wyman, who is, is a listener just like you guys, who became a friend who believed in what we did. And as his ranking went up the ladder... In the world of ESPN, you know, he kept spreading the word about us and eventually it got to the right ears. And again, that's part of the story I want to dive into a little more. But thank you, Sean. Thank you, Spot. Thank you, Jake. Thank you guys listening for, uh, I don't know, allowing us to even have this moment. And it's something we worked really hard for. And we're, we're kind of in shock that we were able to sell our nonsense to the worldwide leader of sports. When you put that in perspective and the fact that, you know, the mouse is listening to Cavino and Rich, Whew. it's remarkable. By the way, I'm, I'm mad that you thank Sean. I was trying to, I was going to pull the Tommy gun, not thank him like Rocky. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I was, I was, I was going to do the, I don't want to thank, I was going to thank George Washington Duke. On my shoulder, Mr. George Washington Duke. Go! <laughs> I was going to thank George Washington Duke. Here you have it, a new champion of the world, Tommy the Machine Gun. Boy, I'll tell you, a big surprise at least to me that... The new champion, thank Duke, instead of the 
Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna leave Sean out. Sean, who, as you know, is a if you don't rich listener, a friend of ours for years, is the guy that was so instrumental in making this happen. Oh, so. that would have been so great. Who would have been the ultimate this though? Instead of like, yeah. like Sean, no, Sean thinks we're gonna thank him, and then we thank someone else. <laughs> who would it be? I like to thank. I don't know. Just name some <laughs> random other person. Eddie SPS. Uh, Stephen A. Smith <laughs> for his inspiration, and not Sean, but. Yeah, that's probably where the story begins. Yeah. And again, write this down, make a mental note. January 28th, oh, yeah. now or never, ESPN2, 11 p.m. Pacific time. Yeah. Now, here's the deal. Now, you're probably saying 11 p.m. West Coast. Well, yeah, because programming sort of ends at 11 here in California. Yeah. If you live so in the middle of the country, of, you know, keep it going. If you live in the middle of the country and left, the last live thing they got going every night is SVP Sports Center at midnight Eastern. Right. So if you live on the West Coast, there's nothing live on ESPN or ESPN two after like nine PM. So people on the East Coast may be totally content, you know, with seeing Scott Van Pelt and, go and to sleep. going to bed, but everyone else, you know, after that you still wanna see a little more. And so we're gonna unwind and, and, and have some fun at the end of the night. But now we're never is an international brand, and our TV show is just one portion of that brand because it's going to live through social media and online, yeah. And like I said, internationally, the, the whole point will be we do the late night talk show mm -hmm. now. Late night here on the West Coast for the East Coast where it's way late. Next day, next morning, the team will have cut up all the clips, and you'll see a lot of. A lot of moments from the show, maybe the funniest moment from the night before, some online shit we did. You'll see it the next day on Instagram, Facebook, ESPN's app, everything. You'll see everything social media the next day. It'll be live on TV, and then next day all over the place with social media. Exactly. That's sort of the goal. That's the plan. And we're just going to do what we do. The same nonsense that you hear on the show, we're bringing to ESPN2. So excited mm -hmm. about that. It's Faction Talk 103. We're really glad to finally be able to announce this officially to you mm -hmm. it is online as of today if you google it yeah we were supposed to the whole plan was to announce it last week and then i guess a uh, couple sports websites the big lead being one of them got the you mean next week yeah next week what did i say this week yeah next week we were supposed to announce it but i guess someone got to jump on it so much like when you announce you're having a baby on the radio show someone beat you to it that's right <laughs> so okay here's the story and then we'll get to your feedback yeah we met our buddy Sean, a Carl, a Cavino and Rich listener, at a party, a Super Bowl party in Indianapolis, oh, wait, right? Are you New taking, Orleans. Are you, are, you New taking, Orleans. Uh, are you taking people? Yeah. Cavino and Rich, behind the velvet rope. Throwback oh. Thursday. Going to throw it back to Super Bowl. What Super Bowl was that? What city? Yeah, New Orleans. New Orleans? That was when the 49ers lost. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's when the Niners lost to the Ravens. For I See, I didn't know that something good would come out of that Super Bowl. Well, we were at these parties. <laughs> I thought, fuck, this is the worst Super Bowl ever! For those of you who follow our show for all these years, know that we would try to bring the Super Bowl scene to you, right? So we yes. would go to all these parties, all these swanky events that not everybody gets to go to. We'd broadcast our show, and then we would dabble and, and rub shoulders and butt cheeks and elbows with important people oh, yeah. and celebrities and athletes and you know i bumped into this guy named sean sean wyman who would forever change our lives that's how things work i guess yep you know and he's like hey yo cavino cavino and rich i'm a i'm a big fan of what you guys do and i'm like oh yeah you know we're just small talking mm -hmm. both excited to be at this party was it an espn party madden. it was a, it, it was, was a, a, the madden the yeah. madden bowl the Madden EA party. Yeah, and all these parties kick ass. When you're at the Super Bowl, whether it be the Maxim party, the ESPN party, the Madden Bowl, the, you know, EA party, these are all big yeah. events. So we're at this event, and and I'm talking to Sean. He seems like a cool guy. He seems like the, the typical guy that's sort of in our demo. He, he's young. He's successful. He's excited to be at the Super Bowl party. Yeah. He's having a great time. He's, he's working for ESPN. Right. No, no, no. Oh, I don't right. even know who he is at first. I have oh. no idea. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, cool, cool. We're bro hugging, you know, having a good time. He's like, by the way, here's my card. And it had the ESPN logo right there on it. So, I mean, I made that mental note right then and there. Like, <sighs> got to keep in touch with this guy. <laughs> you know? <laughs> card, yeah. went, card went right in the back pocket. And, you know, sure enough, I think we exchanged information because we started to communicate. And then, you know, we became direct links to each other yep. sean became uh friends with us hitting us up all the time hey i liked what you guys did here like what you guys these guys did there 
and you know became friends with the show personally. Yeah. And by the way, if you guys have any questions along the way, feel free to chime in uh, 866-969-1969. If you're just joining us, starting in January, we made the announcement we will be doing a daily TV show on ESPN2, a late night show, Kavino and Rich late night show called Now or Never on ESPN2, like I said, starting next month. Sean believes in our show. He gets it. He's at an age where he understands where we're headed. He understands our language. He understands where, you know, sports media is going, where media period is going. So he's like, these are the guys. I like mm -hmm. these guys. He starts spreading the word in Bristol. He starts spreading the word about us to, you know, his bosses and people more important and older guys. And as, as any company goes, think about where you work. Right. As time goes on, the good people start moving up the ranks of it. They start getting more more pull and more say in things. So and Sean creates this buzz, this inner inner buzz in in ESPN in Bristol, Connecticut. Buzz? Barf! <laughs> <laughs> and, and you're right, Rich. As, yeah. as Sean climbed the ladder, he was able to influence the right people to get us in the building, and he got us the right meetings. And, and to show, uh, just to explain to everyone how long the process is. We're talking years. You say you're talking New Orleans is when we met Sean. That is in 2013. That is in 2013. So around 2013, he started to spread the buzz, and people started to tune in. Yeah. So the right people started to tune in along other, with other Sean. friends we had there, Rob and Amanda, right. and other people that make decisions. There's, there's so many people to thank. But oh my God! Yeah. Again, we got the ears of the right people. The main radio guy there, Justin and Trog, and all these people started right. being like, "What? What's he, what are these guys up to?" So we're we're starting at that point in 2013, 14. People are starting to be like, "All right, let's let's see what these guys are about." Right. Then they start seeing some of the YouTube videos that we were putting up there, and we're asking all the questions that you know most people on ESPN already wouldn't be asking. And yeah, like, it was more of a fun pop culture thing. So fast forward a couple years now. Now it's 2015. We moved out to LA, and our first Super Bowl was in San Francisco. Just to show you how the process, like this is not an overnight thing. Got to trust the process. And, and a lot of times in life, people jump ship instead of trusting the process. Yeah, We're in San Francisco and Sean was going to be in San Francisco and said, hey, why don't you meet up with some of these folks at ESPN? They, you know, they finally want to meet up with you guys. That was 2015. We had a great lunch. I remember this. We were in San Francisco, had a great lunch, and they were like, they sort of got what we did. And I was like, I felt good about it. I was like, ooh. They well, get yeah, because for years, the people in charge were so significantly older than us that they didn't get what we were doing. Yeah. But now we're at a stage where the people in charge are old enough to get what we're doing. And this is happening at your company, wherever exactly. you work. The people that are making decisions are in their 30s, 40s, early 50s. So they speak more your language. When you were 20 and your bosses we're like 50 or 60. Like you you there was a generation gap between. Exactly. You guys. So those gaps close and opportunities open. We have some great lunches and that turns into you know, we start doing pilots in what? 2016, 2017? 20 2017. 2017. Okay. So, so after a year and a half of conversations about we should develop a show, we should develop a show. And Sean and, has and ideas meetings, on. Yeah. And, yeah. Sean has ideas on what the show should be. Going to Bristol, coming out here, still maintaining our friendship throughout all of this. 2017 hits, and they finally say, uh, "Yeah, we may want to do this. We're going through budget. We're going through this. We may want to launch a new show." And we got we have you guys in mind. We're doing pilots now. We're doing like. Big pilots but like he, in but the main studios. I'm, I'm nervous just about that at the time, to be honest, and excited. And I honestly think we must have done, in the next year span, like 20 different pilots with different people, <laughs> with you, Sports you, Center well, anchors. Well, I mean, you name it, oh, we, we did it. We went to, let's say, well, here's, here's uh, this is just, you know, giving you guys the behind-the-scenes scoop of all this. My wife, as you know, Sarah and I had our daughter, Emmy, in May of 2017. <laughs> Emmy's birthday, her, her actual birthday, she was born on May 16th, 2017. May 16th. After years and years, we're talking, you know, 2013, for, for three, four years, we're talking about conversation after conversation, meeting after meeting. All right, we think we want to do a pilot with you guys, and we think we could get it green lit and pushed through. You know what they say? The pilot, uh, we're filming it, we're flying all these people out, we're going to do this big elaborate thing, and uh, it's on May 17th, is that cool? 
And, and what's Rich supposed to say? <laughs> what know? the fuck am I supposed to right. say? We've waited all this year, all these years for this yeah. opportunity. I was like, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, May 17th, you got it. Perfect. Meanwhile, I'm talking to my wife like, what is our game plan? What? You know, I'm going to be on a set all day with executives and people that are flying here from all around the country for this big elaborate pilot they're putting money into. And that May 17th was Sarah's exact due date. Yeah. And when Rich says big elaborate pilot, I mean, they were flying people in from all over the place just to test with us, to, yeah. to work with. Different, different uh, cast and crew. Yeah, different female on air people. That and Rich they... is having a baby any yeah. minute. And I'm like, so it's, I have all these contingency plans. Like, right. All right, what if, what if, like, in the middle of this, Sarah's like, I'm going into labor and I'm freaking the fuck out? Now, the ball starts to roll. Well, as it turns out, by the way, uh, Rich had the baby. And then the very next oh, no, day. Oh, yeah, no, what happened was, I get, it's, it's, uh, at the time. Yeah. We're doing this pilot, I believe, on a Tuesday morning. On a Tuesday morning. And Sarah and I are at the doctor on the Friday before. And the doctor goes, listen, if you want, we could, uh, induce you and you could have the baby tonight. And we actually had a discussion like, yo, do we want to have this baby tonight and have you induced? So that there is no anxiety or confusion or anything. Yeah. And I'm like, then I'm like, do I want an ESPN pilot to dictate the day my daughter is like born? And we thought about it. And I was sort of leaning towards, let's do it. And Sarah at the last minute is like, nah, let's just see what happens. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and I was freaking out. We're thinking at this point, ah, oh, it's our first baby. And first babies usually come a little later. The night before the pilot, Sarah's waking me up at like late at night and like i think it's time and i'm like what so i rush to the hospital we go through the whole process you remember we were on the air the next day i was i was on the air with you guys from the hospital room sarah has the baby we have baby emmy and i go straight from the hospital with the bracelet on because you can't you can't take the bracelet off because when you're in the baby unit of a hospital you have to keep that security bracelet on. So I went, filmed 10 hours with you of different pilots with different people, and then went back to the hospital. So Emmy was born. It was like, nice to meet you, kid. Goodbye. And I had to run to the studio with you. So then, you know, now we've got actual proof that we could do this and all the right eyes. I mean, that those 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 tapes spread like wildfire throughout Bristol and, and throughout the ESPN family. And uh, let's just say from that experience... A lot of the people we worked with then, that was a, what, a year and a half ago, yeah. are already on TV doing big things with ESPN. Yeah. Right? Then the company went through some changes, and all our momentum sort of stopped for a second. Yeah. Fast forward again. They got new ideas for us. We're doing more pilots. A, a different idea, different pilot. Then we did another pilot and a different pilot. Basically, what's going on here is they believed in us and in our brand and what we would bring to the company, but didn't know how to fit us in or, or what was going to work. So that's why when people work in the world of music or TV or that anything in that realm, to tell people something's going to happen is a bad idea. Right, right, right. But not only bad luck, but a lot of times they're like, yeah, this is going to happen. And then you're like, yo, it's going to happen. And you get an email or call like... Yeah, yeah, they froze budgets, or uh, yeah, the big dog didn't approve it, and you're like, wah, wah. And this might be, again, behind the velvet rope, maybe even too much information, but here's what really got the ball rolling for us. Covino and Rich oh. bring you Behind, behind the velvet, velvet Rope. This is where we thank our good friends and family, because we've been part of the SiriusXM family now for so long. Yeah. This is where we thank them, and, and we be good company men and say, without SiriusXM support, we wouldn't be able to make this happen either because we're doing all this TV stuff, which we're allowed to do, but it's taking forever, right? Sirius XM has us exclusively for Covino and Rich on the radio. Yeah. We work a new contract out at Sirius XM, and they allow two really awesome things for us, which is one, to put up our Best of the Week podcast, mm -hmm. and the other one was, yeah, we're going to allow you guys to work at ESPN because we have a great relationship and partnership yeah. with them. And that allowed us to work or have the opportunity to do ESPN radio. So now that we had that in our contract, we go to ESPN and we tell Sean and all our friends over there, hey, guys, 
We're actually able to yeah. do radio You can now. use us in a part-time capacity on the radio in addition to TV, and that sort of opens windows because we're known for being on the radio. That opens up all the doors. You know, We start doing ESPN Radio, as you guys remember, because we made that announcement, and a lot of you guys tune in to what we do on ESPN Radio. We had, you know, what, six, seven, eight-month run there now. Yeah. And we keep it over exact five months. Five months? We started in the end of June. Well, you, I, you, I, add, you always add. But it's been a buildup, so, yeah. you know, it didn't just happen overnight. <laughs> July, August, September, October, November. Yeah, like it five and a half months. It was football season. Yeah. So, you know, we started doing ESPN <laughs> Radio, which opened more doors, and the ball started to roll with this show, and the rest is history. It's called Now or Never, and there's an international portion called Ahora... Nunca, and that's going to air on ESPN Deportes, yeah. and they have their own hosts who are so talented. We become really great friends with them. Hercules, who I love. And, and Mauricio Pedraza, who's already on ESPN. Mauricio, He's a familiar face. one of the funniest guys we've met. Yeah, we're, we're equally as happy for them because I know how hard they work. And to have that brand, again, not only here on ESPN and on the Deportes side of things internationally, yeah. the brand, they're really excited about it, and we hope you guys are excited about it because it's a different spin. And when I say this, and I'm sure it's been said a million times, nothing like this has ever been on ESPN. No, no. So, you know, we're really excited. People are going to hate us and then eventually that's, learn to love yeah, us. Yeah, people are going to hate us and then hopefully love us. I, right. That's probably the goal. No, that, that's it. Yeah. I mean, people are definitely going to hate us. So thank you, but guys. I, but I'm excited for the hate. 866-969-1969 if you guys have any questions. Um, again... Starting in January, January 28th, Monday, January 28th, uh, we'll be still doing our Sirius XM talk show every morning. We'll right be here living like two lives. Right here on Faction Talk. And then every night we go to the studio, downtown L.A., by the Staples Center, and we're going to be doing a daily late night TV show on ESPN2 every night called Now or Never. And what you said about the Deportes version that Maurizio and Hercules will be hosting – the best way, the best analogy would be how, as you know, back in the day, very popular show, Sports Nation, then they had Nacion, which was the same brand, right? It was yeah. like Sports Nation was the English version, and then on Deportes, they had the same logo, same brand, that was Nacion. So it was- Which we hosted and made several cameos yeah. on in the a, past few months. Yeah, we have a great relationship with the Deportes people. So you have, you know, you had Sports Nation and Nacion, now you have- Every night on ESPN2, Now or Never, hosted by Kavino and Rich, and on Deportes, Maurizio, and Hercules. And on both shows, a super talented, funny, awesome girl who is going to be part of both shows, this girl Janelle, yeah. who is, I think she's going to be great. The debut of Janelle, wait till you get, a get, load to, of her. <laughs> get to meet her. She's, uh, she's, she's definitely a, a fun person to look out for. So is Kavino and Rich... That's our announcement. We've waited for years to tell you about it. It's been a process. It really has, yeah. you know, and, and we thank all of you guys, and we're really excited about it. And, you know, it, it gets even deeper than that because now we go on our yeah. little, like, quote-unquote promotional tour to promote this show. Oh, so. yeah, so now's a good time to say uh, a few a few different things. Uh, a, uh, first of all, no, you no, guys— no. Stephen A. You guys all <laughs> need to DVR this, watch this. Most importantly, the next day when they put out these clips on Facebook and Instagram and all that, that's where you guys come in, you know, come into play. That's where we call on you, our friends and people that have supported us and friends of the show. That's where you got to spread those clips like fucking wildfire. You need to pet the dumb. If, if Kavino and I do something dumb and it's on ESPN's Instagram or Twitter or something the next day, yeah, I have a whole campaign. It's like, don't spread cheeks, spread clips. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 Um, but you said Steve and A. Get this. This is ridiculous. This makes me want to fart I'm right wait, now. I'm waiting for them to be like, guys, we're kidding. This makes me want to run to the bathroom and shit my pants. In promotion of our new late night show on ESPN2, the day after Christmas, Christmas aft, as I've always called it, on Christmas aft, December 26th. Which, by the way, is the dumbest name ever. Christmas aft. What the fuck is wrong with that? Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Christmas Aft. Christmas Aft? I mean, I don't want to debate about this. It ruins the announcement. Go ahead. Well, let's apologize. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Continue. Uh, Christmas Aft. There is a... <laughs> There's something that's happening that I find hilarious. They're like, hey, Kavino Rich, uh, guess what you're doing on December 26th? You'll be... I'm thinking, uh, I don't know, scratching my belly? Yeah, like, scra lounging scra around? Scratching my man thighs, watching... Uh, Reruns of uh, Twilight Zone? No. Watching Elf? I don't know. 
on December 26th in promotion of the new show, Kavino and I are taking over and we're filling in and hosting first take for Max and Stephen A. Smith. <laughs> And I'll be Stephen A. And Rich will be Max. Is that what? Wait, we have to pick one. The fact of the matter is this: I've been grooming my stubble to to make sure Who Kellerman are knows. these bozos spinning in our chairs, Max? I'll tell you what. I it's don't be... want him. And he points to you. I don't want him in my chair. <laughs> Their take is blasphemous. And he's going to be rolling his eyes as Cavino and Rich oh. host first take the on world, ESPN. The world will, will be rolling their eyes. Anyone that watches. Which, by the way, is their the highest rated show as far as I know. Yeah, but, and it's like real thing. Oh, it it's makes like, me so nervous. It's like serious. Sports. By the way, it's a two-hour show. I didn't know that until you told me. I'm nervous just thinking about it. But, but excited. It's good nerves, you know. Good Without stuff. a doubt. So, yeah, um, the, the new show, the daily late night show, starts at the end of January. Uh, we'll be doing a lot of fill-ins on TV and radio before then and hopefully trying to spread the word about the new TV show. And like I said, any questions, 866-969-1969 or text 412, the letter C in our show. We'll take some questions and uh, we'll move on to some other stuff here on the show today. But a major announcement in the world of Kavino and Rich, considering it's been years in the works for, for us to get back on TV. As you know, we did the SNY Daily TV show from 2013 to 2015. So it's been a couple of years. Yeah, and all those things, you know, led to this. And that's the cool part about it, too, is, you know, Hadn't we made all those moves and, and did all the things we've done, it wouldn't have led us to this mm. this part. And, uh, you know, we kind of we kind of made it happen. And it's, it's nice to know that, you know, if you got your mind set on something and, and you really work at it and the right people believe in you, it's it's possible. You know, that's really how I feel about it. Because for me, I'm such a fan that... It's almost surreal. Like, yeah. I feel like I don't belong. That's the truth, even though I know I do because we worked <laughs> so long to make it happen. I'm, th I'm thinking, I'm thinking you know, of you. I'm like, I'm what the hell of, am I doing I here? I can't wait. I'm, you're going to be having nervous farts in Stephen A's chair. That's not good. Yeah, but it's okay. I'll, tell, tell I'll fill you in. <laughs> I'll, let her, I'll let the world know. I'm very honest, and that's you know the different side that we'll bring to ESPN. And... Very, very happy to share that news with you guys after all these years. So uh, our, our friends and family are, are finding out all the details as we speak. We hope you're excited about it. Oh, and, We're and, excited about it. And what about, the, in. what about the new split day life you're going to live? That's all something we're going to have to figure out. Do the, do the radio show in the morning, then record our Pop 2K and Turbo stuff, get home, have lunch, unwind, see our kids and family. Do our dad stuff. Do you know, dad life and husband or boyfriend life. Try to be present significant others and then all of a sudden be like all right off to the tv studio and do a late night tv show every night right every night so it's now or never ain't that right spot now or never hit it spot spot hit it hit it spot now it's now <laughs> or never on espn2 come home oh by the way side note i like the name now or never but i want everyone to know the whole idea of choosing a name of a show, you'd be amazed how you could come up with a million things and, like, random people have holds or patents on it or, like, uh, the rights to it. If you think you could just go on TV and be like, oh, I'm going to name the show this. I, lo I love that they settled on Now, now or Never because there was ones I didn't like in the mix. I like this one. Yeah. But let me tell you, if you came up with 20 good names for something, am I right by saying 15 of the 20? They're like, no, uh, for some reason CBS has a hold on that. Oh, NBC used that for a segment 10 years ago. We can't use that. Oh, uh, no, someone uh, someone owns the rights to that phrase. This is uh, Becky McAllister's podcast. I uh, can't use it. Yeah, no, exactly. Okay, sure, fine, whatever. So now or never is the title. We're real excited again. I, I can't say Let's that see, enough. Uh, let, we'll start with Damien on the phones, 866-969-1969. What's up, Damien? Now we turn it over to you guys. Yeah. So questions, we got answers. Yep. And for those of you who watched our SNY show and, and thought that was fun, I want you to know that it's going to be very much like that, just a lot cooler. That's really it. It's that with a bigger budget, it's I guess, a bigger for, budget. Like, for, for like set and stuff. On, like on, on, a, on a bigger platform. Actually, and to be honest, I, I don't know about bigger budget. As far, I think just the like the SNY show, but just on a bigger stage. Yeah, on a bigger yeah. scale. That's also... You know, I, I don't want people to think you're going to get some sort of different version of Cavino and Rich. It's, it's the same stuff that you're you're used to, uh, just finding the funnier, different angle of these sports stories because they're all relatable to our everyday life. Uh, we, the phone, the uh, phones okay. went out. Pick them up. All right. Um, let's say uh, Drew Mack, is it live or taped? Oh, shit. 
I don't know. You we know, don't know all the deal. I think some days live, some days taped. I th- that that's one of those things where it's a late night show, and depending on what late game. So let's say it's a big let's say it's a big Lakers game, and LeBron. Let's say it's Golden State versus the Lakers, and it's a big game in January leading up to the playoffs. Right? They're probably gonna wait for that game to end so that we could talk about it that yeah, night. It's gonna be awkward. How cool is it gonna be when like LeBron? Is gonna be on our show, like on the little screen there. I'm like, yo, LeBron, you look, you look, you look sweaty, man. He's tired from the game tonight. You think you're gonna get LeBron? Yeah, bro. <laughs> you and LeBron? Yeah, me and LeBron. All right. The this guy in Indio, California, says, "Why be nervous, Cavino? You did the Will Kane show on ESPN. That is true, and we're gonna be doing it again, December twenty sixth, twenty eighth. Yeah, for hours. No, four hours the, at a time. And the twenty sixth. Twenty sixth is first take. And Will Kane. And Will Kane? Oh, man. They're working us to death. We're doing both that day? So, yeah. He's complaining already. My God. So many dots on my calendar. Is that in the contract? No, no you so, so you're doing, for, you'll be doing first take that day yeah. for two hours. And then Will Kane. And then three hours of radio on TV. So you'll be on TV for five I mean, hours listen, that day. Look at you. I fucking, to break yeah, what the are news. you, Dick Clark? What are you, I, Ryan Seacrest? I know I'm an interesting fella, but I mean, am I that interesting? I don't know. I mean, that's a lot of TV time that day. So, yeah, we filled in for Will Kane, and we've done our radio thing. My mindset is this. I do radio every day for, you know, I've been 20 years in this business, 15 years almost with Rich. If I focus on, like, hey, I'm just doing my radio show and ignore the cameras, I'm fine. So I'm excited just to do what we always do. On ESPN. Uh, Franz in New Jersey, you're up first. 866-969-1969. Let me go through the feed. Hey, buddy. Yay, what's up? Hey, man. Congratulations, fellas. Thank you. January 28th. Yes, I'll definitely check it out. Uh, but my my mind went right away. What about Spot? That is, a, that is a question a lot of people have. He'll be involved in some capacity. Um, we just don't, we don't know what the day will look like, if that makes sense, Franz. All right, all right. I, like, I, like, we got to figure out what what is his exact role, because he won't be he won't be – on screen with us at first, at least. Who knows what it goes into? But yeah, and for the record, that's what they said at SNY, and he became a very prominent part of the show, yeah. as he should be, and as he is here on our radio platform. So it's just a matter of let's let's see how it all plays out. Let's figure out the let's, day. Let's, let's see what's let's, needed. Let's start it. We got to. We're, we're going to be doing weeks of demo shows leading up to it. So we got to figure out how our day plays out. Meaning, do we do the radio show and then in the afternoon? It's best for Spot to be corresponding with their producers and doing all that. Is it best for Spot to – would Spot have to come to the TV studios with us every day if he's not on the show or doing anything? I look at it this way. He's going to be involved. Well, he can, just, man. Uh, he's got to do yoga. Yeah, he yeah. can't be there every day. Exactly. Yeah. After his yoga class, he's going to be involved in some capacity. We just don't know at what capacity, but we're going to make it happen, and it's, and it's still in the works for sure. All right. Well, congrats again. Have a good day, boys. Thanks, Thanks man. Thanks, bud. Um, let's see. Drew Mack wants to know, could I please wear the, the blue puffy shirt? That you wore on the game show? That I wore on the game show. No, I, I don't know. If that, what do you think? Charles in West Virginia says he's available if you need any inside scoop on the Redskins. Yeah, no, Charles, we want your boxing updates. Um, yeah. We don't oh, need. No, if we, want the, if we want the TV show to uh, come to a screeching halt once in a while, we'll, uh, we'll have him on that show. All right, let's see. Son of a bitch. Damien, now oh, we lost Damien. Oh, God damn it. Call us back, buddy. Let's see. What about Spot? That's from Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. Yes, he's going to be a part of yes. it. We're just trying to figure out at what, you know, how much of a part of it. Cavino, you better rip up your Jelly of the Month Club membership card. Get your ass in shape. That's from Mac in Alberta. I believe the, you the, me. The, that's, the, a, the that's funniest, a big part of it. The funniest part is how worried you are about appearance, which I get. I mean, look who's talking. I mean, I think we're all trying to bring our best to the table. I know, here, but, right? like you, but you... You very much like you very much get worried about it. It's funny. Uh, let's see. Nobody that I would rather watch on TV than you two. Congrats. That's E. Thank and you, e. Congrats. Sounds like you guys are going to be way busy. As from Hefe, I know. On a side personal note, I'm wondering how it's going to affect our every day, our schedule, our lives, our interactions. Those are concerns. But as Rocky Balboa says, one step, one punch, one round at a time. You know, when I think about all the things we've had coming up and things we've done just in this past week, week plus, it, it wanted to make my head spin off. But if you approach things from that way, it does make things easier. One step, one punch, one round at a time. Yeah. 
It's one my step, it's my, honestly, one it's my, punch, one round at a time. It's my new motto for everything. Honestly, when you think about relationships, life, yeah. work, when I think about spot and, you know, everything. That's yeah. It. Yo. One step at a time, one punch at a time, one round at a time, one step at a time, one punch at a time, one round at a time. Get it right. Yo. One step, one punch, one round. You can't think about what's going to be happening six months, a year from now. You can't. Other, like I said the other day, other than financially planning for your future and being responsible, Everything else, your kids, relationships, your job, all this stuff, your job, you can't predict or plan any of that shit. The only thing you can do is be responsible enough to, like, prepare financially for your future. Other than that, jobs, relationships, friendships, everything is fluid. It could change. You don't know what could happen. There's no way you could look too far ahead. You know, you just got to take it one step, one punch, one round at a time. Otherwise, you're just wasting energy and we all do it. I'm the biggest culprit of that, but I have to keep that in mind always. Uh, let's see. Congratulations, boys. Wish you all the success in the world, KC Chris. Hey, man, you guys are part of this journey, and, and that's why we're excited to tell you. You know, the guys listening to the show right now, you guys are the ones that believed in us from day one, like Sean. Yeah. You know, so I feel like this is a victory for everybody, not just us. I, I mean that. I know it sounds corny. And I know there's two mentalities. It's like when the band makes it, people abandon the band. Like, I liked them better before they made it. No, I feel like when the band makes it, that's that's like when you make it. You saw it. You knew it. You were part of it. You were part of the ride. Yeah. And Listen, I, I on, hope you guys I, feel I, that I, way. I just look at it this way. On satellite radio, on satellite radio, there's there's 30, 30 to 40 million subscribers, right? You have 30 to 40 million subscribers on satellite radio. That's like 10% of the population. Right. And that would be assuming... Of that 10% of the population, how many listen to us? Not 10%. That's for sure. Meaning like- um, you're, you're part of that small population like, that was in on it from the, from the beginning, and then now we're going to be exposed to a bigger audience. We're only exposed right now to such a to such a small audience because satellite radio is like one of those cool niche products, I guess you'd say, right? Absolutely. It's a huge million, million dollar company, but only 10% of the, the country has satellite radio, which means- there's 90% of the country that could very well be seeing Kavino and Rich for the first time. So we need you guys to be there with us. Brent in California says, dude, bros and Carls, I've been waiting a long time for this next level stuff. Finally, awesome news. Congrats, boys. Brent in California, thank you, man. I hope you all feel that way. And that's the announcement. Huge. Huge. And I do get nervous farts thinking about it. In fact, yesterday, on another side note, again, behind the velvet rope, because we want you guys here on the show, you're going to be hearing things that no one else is going to know about as well. Because this platform allows us to really take you behind the velvet rope. Cavino and Rich Faction Talk will always be our bread and butter. We did our promotions for the show coming up. So we're excited yep. for you to see that. These commercials, if you will. Things like that to... Build the anticipation. That was, that was fun yesterday. We did oh a, whole, a whole full day of commercial shoots yesterday. A full giant set. And I'm like, this is for us? I was excited that we had craft services. And we had all these people there to like, you know, cater to us. It was unbelievable. So, you know, that's just part of the fun, I guess. I got to tell everyone, though. Oh, what? <laughs> yesterday, and Spot, you could only imagine this. Yesterday, we're going through everything on the commercial set. And... Cavino acts like the way you would expect Cavino to act. Craft services table, he's eating everything, and he's almost like putting Nutrigrain bars in his pocket. Anything like he he's like stocking up. I Wardrobe. mean, I, I'm me, and, and and that's the beautiful thing about have, ESPN. They we, hired me to be me. Yeah, but they, so they, if they, they expect something else, then you know they made a mistake. There's a wardrobe department that was, I guess, they're this is crazy. They're hired to style us and dress us, and Cavino's like. Yo, could I keep these shoes? <laughs> yeah, like, because I'm happy to be there. Keep these Yo, shoes. I know there's this, there's a. You there's do a, realize, like, when you go on a commercial saying, set, like, hey, a, 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 you know, act like you've been there. Guess what, dude? I do, but I'm I'm excited to be there. So you you know, there's people that play it too cool, but at the same time, I don't want to take it for granted. No, like, I, of course not. I think this not. is exciting. I just find it funny that you are you. I'm not. Yeah, like, no, no, let me, no. Let me, I, want, I, I, I agree with I you. I'm just giving you my side. I don't want you to be butthurt, but no, I, just want, I just want everyone that listens to our stupid shit every day to but know I that think Kavino everybody is consistent. would feel that way, though. Dude, you know? Kavino's consistent. I of the Vato. We go on set. They, they they give Kavino, for one of the commercials, like a cool jacket and, sne and, and some, like, 
nice shoes. And I knew the whole time, I was like, he, he actually asked to keep the shoes and then the jacket. He's like, yo, should I just like walk out with this jacket? I was in a moonwalk out rocking that thing, man. But they needed it back. So, yeah, <laughs> it, 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 the fun perks are, in my opinion, just a... Uh, 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 just a, a result of all the hard work. Yeah. I mean, you could say hard work or fun. How about that? Because that's what we plan on doing anyway. The fun that we've had throughout all these years and, mm -hmm. and just plan on having more of it on ESPN. In fact, that's the key word that we're looking to bring to ESPN. Fun. Uh, is some fun. So even if we, quote unquote, do mess up, if it provides oh. for a good laugh and we have fun with it, that's really what we're trying to do anyway. Oh, look who it is. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's Ryan Hollins. Ryan Hollins. What's up, man? What's up, bro? What's up, man? Oh, my God. A seven-footer just walked into the studio to say what's up. And uh, guess what? Here's another side announcement. As we promote, we just made the announcement that we, we're starting our show January 28th. But when we promote the show, we're hosting First Take with, uh, uh, December with 26th. you. <laughs> <laughs> How cool is that, man? Hey. Fellas, I'm just, I'm happily annoyed right now. Why? I'm happily annoyed Why? right now. We're hosting no. with you on first take. No, there's so much good. I know, I know. But, like, I had a blunder. Uh -oh. I had a big blunder. What happened? What happened? So, you guys weren't here yesterday. Right. I'm here. Yeah. I'm gassed. Like, all right, I'm going to come back. I'm working all week. Yeah. Right. You're doing uh, NBA radio, yeah, right? Yeah, NBA radio. I'm like, yeah. I'm on I'm on all week because he asked me, when can you work? I'm like, I can do Wednesday. I can do Thursday. And I can do Friday. <laughs> right. Right? Yeah. Right. So I'm all pumped up. And I hit the producer like, yo, tell somebody to let me in. I'm going to get there early. I'm going to go holler at Covino Rich. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's going to be a good day. Yeah. And he said, for what? You're not even on today. No way. Oh, so you just sat in two hours of traffic oh. <laughs> to get out here for nothing. So you went in yesterday, you weren't even on. No, yesterday I was on. Oh. Oh. Yesterday I was on. Yeah. Oh, today, today I'm not on. <laughs> today I'm not on. Hey, but you're here now. Hey. But I'm here now. You just made the announcement. So it's like, it perfect. sounds like perfect timing. I'm happily annoyed. That's it. That's I'm it. happily annoyed. Right. By the way, we're <laughs> hanging out with an ESPN analyst and NBA radio, Ryan Hollins, uh, former NBA player, seven-footer, friend of the show. We've worked with him on Nacioni. Again, he, he was very much part of our journey in, in the ESPN family, and now we're hosting First Take with him. What I, what so, I love about Ryan is that when yeah. he stands next to you, it just oh makes God. you feel like Tattoo from Fantasy Island. I know! <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, I'm happily annoyed. You want to know why I'm happy, happily yeah. annoyed? Because huh. we're getting the opportunity to host First Take, and it's like, what are we doing on First Take? I know you're very amped about it but we're like you know we're, we're two clowns bringing I'll, a different perspective i will be but you're gonna make me look so tiny on yeah. that set so, well, so everyone's first like impression of me is like oh they hired a hispanic midget guy wait why is guillermo <laughs> from kimmel <laughs> on, uh, on first take and i'm gonna be like no he's seven foot tall he makes everybody look small if it helps you out all my height is in my legs yeah i'm a regular guy we, we okay. sit down i'm true. a regular guy all right it's until i no, stand you know up what? i'm gonna bring a booster seat and it'll be fun for tv <laughs> i'm gonna have a booster seat on standby I'm what, are you, sit on what are you guys it. gonna do on first take who the hell knows i don't know all i know all i got is this so gonna far be the covino and rich show what is it gonna be i gotta be honest we know. had our first phone call yesterday and they're like we're exciting to <laughs> excited to have you dazzle <laughs> on a new platform and uh oh, we, we want you guys to do what you do so far that's what we've heard yeah so. i think we have to dress a little nicer on first take i yeah. heard that um, but no, you always no wear a hoodie. You, you always wear no hoodie. <laughs> you always wear a suit, so yeah. you'll be fine. Uh, I'm what definitely up? gonna have the nervous farts in Stephen A's chair for sure. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna come out and be like, "Yo, somebody been farting in my chair." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, and he is very particular about I bet. who sits in his chair. I bet. Wait, and have you you've done first take already? Yeah. 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 Is it really a nerve wracking experience or is it fun? Oh, I, I'm gonna have a blast. Oh, oh but, okay. yeah, I'm gonna have a blast. Where, where <laughs> Well, no. it's, it's gonna be the then day. It's fun. gonna be the day after Christmas. I don't so know about gonna... the guys on the other side. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but you know what that means? That means the day after Christmas, everyone's sort of lounging around just and, watching. And, well, then you know what? Though there's a lot of NBA games on Christmas Day, and I'm sure that's probably will be yeah. the focus of stuff as they get closer to the playoffs. Right, just right, right. Come in with your normal opinions and that's feel it. good, and we'll, we'll have a blast, man. That's it's it, good. Man. Hey, it's gonna be must see TV. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait. All right, listen, we got a break. We'll be back. Thanks, Ryan. Ryan Holland. Any other questions? Eight six six nine six nine nineteen. 69. More Kavino on Rich next.